When Vivo S19 was first released, the foreign advertisements almost covered all the domestic apps I used. Even some official media specially released this celebrity phone. Let's interview you about your feelings about the phone at that time. Is it a flagship phone? I think so. But whether the experience is good or not is another matter. Vivo S19 does look good and the bare phone feels good. One, a 5K high brightness screen with narrow bezel looks good at normal distance. The buttons are still a bit loose. So it's better to bring it me. The fingerprints are short focus fingerprints. Okay, I can understand, but it's 2024. The vibration motor of S19 is still a rotor motor, and the motor is a linear motor. Do I have to pay 200 when more? The system is very beautiful. The telecommunications device can be further customized to your favorite desktop style. Most of the ads can be turned off, but like the Realme GT Neo 6 I see in the previous issue, the weather detail cannot be turned off. It's a domestic custom-made Android is made like this. Advertisers only need to consider placing ads, but users have a lot to consider. And why is the animation still a little bit off even though the refresh rate is 120 Hz? Is it because I am dazzled? The Evo S19 uses Snapdragon 7 Swords the 3, which is exactly the same as the previous generation S18. Fortunately, 7 Swords 3 is still very powerful. Various applications and games are not a problem at all. It comes standard with an 80 watt charging head but it seems that the power control is very cautious. The default ultra-fast charging mode is not turned on. The charging is not as fast as my 50-watt wireless charging. Of course, S19 does not support wireless charging. The 6000 Ma battery has a strong battery life. With Snapdragon 7 Swords 3, it can last for more than a day with light use. However, this single speaker is a lot. I haven't had slept in seven years be in racing my gears can it dream my fantasy I Free on TV you have you have I have I have why can't we agree we fight inside your broken head go fix it instead I think the best one I cannot breathe we only talk inside of your dead world I Volunteering for the world, the camera parameters are still the same as the previous generation, but the hardware has changed. I don't know if the performance will be better. Rear 50 megapixel optical image stabilization main camera plus 8 megapixel wide angle camera supports three styles of texture. The style is quite like a line. Can this achieve the effect of a joint venture without a joint venture? It means that you need to calculate a time after shooting. The rear soft light can adjust the color temperature when shooting but not the brightness. Can it adjust the brightness when used as a flashlight? The main camera has good clarity and video performance, and it supports up to 4K 30 frames. The sharpening of 1080p and 720p is visible to the naked eye, but there is no such problem in 4K video recording. The clarity is very high. It can be said that the rear main camera of S19 is indeed good, but the wide-angle performance is relatively average. The clarity is not that high, when recording it can switch to the wide-angle lens at 1080p and 720p in 30 frames, but 4K is not possible. After all, its pixels do not meet the requirements 4K. The front lens is the strength of S19. The 50 megapixel can still focus and record 4K video. The two soft lights hidden on the top are very useful for self-love. It's so cool for the photographer. It's a pity that the professional mode can't use the front lens. Otherwise, it would be more perfect. In short, the Vivo S19 is a relatively specialized mobile phone. She liked taking pictures, and this may be a good choice. But if you pay more attention to the price-performance ratio, 
then its previous generation S the 18th of May be a better choice. This is the end of this video. If you like it, don't forget to like, follow, comment, collect, and send it. See you next time.